when they come in, I guess. <laughs> you guys got questions, you can, when you guys got questions, you can ask them. Yes. Um, oh, I mean, tell me when your picture taking is done. You got? You good? Oh, it's fine. Um, I have projected the solution to that about ten minutes before you got here, but I will project it again here. I hope I can find it. See, I'll, I will end this at 4.30 just to be, you know, clear. It goes to 5.15. No, I will be. I will be dead. I am dead at 515. So this is problem 40 of 2015, which is problem 39 of 2018, as it happens. The complex has stayed the same. Um, so here, the idea basically is that to solve the, the disk problem with one on the right and minus one on the left, what I can do is find a fractional linear transformation and there are other choices, like Bethany did it to the upper half plane. Fine. I chose to do it to the right half plane because I just like that. Why do I like that? Because inverse tangent lives over there. Like inverse tangent is defined on the right half plane, just the plain old standard inverse tangent. Inverse tangent has the very nice feature that it takes pi over 2 as you approach the positive imaginary axis and you approach minus pi over 2 as you approach the negative imaginary axis, right? As I go like up to here, it's pi over 2. As I go down to there, it's like minus pi over 2 in terms of like, you know, inverse tangent of y over x. Yeah? My brain is now. Uh-oh. And so that's why I'm using that because I've got this, you know, inverse tangent is a, is a harmonic function on the right half plane, and it's it's got a nice boundary value here and a nice boundary value there. It's constant above and below zero. And if I can take the, the right half plane and if I can like wrap it onto the circle, if I can map these points to those points, then the boundary maps to the boundary and that through, through the method of conformal mapping will solve the problem. Yeah, you, you need to find the fractional linear transformation that maps from the... Um, circle to the circle, I mean the, the half plane to the half plane. And what we decided was that my solution is actually not optimal. We said, what we want to do... Yeah, I, I, my, my suggestion would be we want to map i to zero. Oh, wait, yeah, i to zero. We want to map t of minus i to infinity because that's the other place where there's an angle jump. So like as I think about the the right half plane solution, see I've got one jump from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 there. And then if you think about going up to infinity or down to infinity, it's the same infinity in this wild world of adding infinity. Um, that's where we jump from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 also. So that means that the, the jump in this must match the jump in that, which is also at infinity. So 1 is 0, 1 is infinity. So you know, t of i is 0, t of minus i is infinity. And that, you know, pretty much does it. Yeah, come on in. We're, we're pretty much done. And so, you know, that, that will give you t of z is z minus i. And downstairs, z plus i. And then you just got to pick a constant a, which does something else. So I picked, like, one other point. I said I want to map... Yeah, I, I chose I, I chose to make one I made one map to I I think is what I did. And that worked. Yeah. 
And so, so James, what happens then is after you sort through that, after you sort through that, you should get this fractional linear transformation. It should work out to that. Then we take the argument on the w plane, multiply by 2 over pi, because if I do that, pi over 2 goes to 1, and minus pi over 2 goes to minus 1, which are the things I'm trying to get on the boundary. And then I just use the conformal mapping theorem to steal the w solution back to the z solution by taking the w solution and composing it with the FLT that we just found. It could be. Um, it's possible. This is about the hardest, though, that I would go. And so, yeah, yeah. But you should try to understand this problem, yeah. Not yet, no. I'm just showing it to you guys now. It will also be in the video I post shortly, but you might want to take a picture of it right now because I'm going to put it away and talk to them about my abstract algebra pretty soon. <laughs> You got it? Okay. Did you want to take a picture of the start of it? Or does it not matter? Well, this part, you might, you should take a picture of that too. Just in case you're looking at this, you want to have both halves. Is that it? You good? You guys are fast. All right. All right. I must not change gears. <laughs> oh man. <laughs>